so as i told you in the last class macroeconomics is the study of economic activity in the overall economy of a nation it is the study of the economy as a whole and macroeconomics is concerned with the, the determination of the levels and also changes in some of the key macroeconomic variables like gnb price level employment interest rate wage rate foreign exchange rate etc so the question is how do we study about these macroeconomic variables so to study about uh, these macroeconomic variables we develop macroeconomic models macroeconomic models we develop macroeconomic models that is economists try to explain the working of the economy by using what is known as economic theory economists develop theories to explain the determination of variables and also to explain the rate of change of the variables over time so theories are used to explain economic phenomena and economic theory involves developing an economic model developing an economic model economic theory involves developing an economic model and a model is a simplified representation of economic phenomena a model is a simplified representation of economic phenomena which takes a mathematical or graphical form so theory is used to explain phenomena theory is nothing but an economic model the model is either presented mathematically or graphically graphically that is model is presented either by using mathematical equations or graphs and uh, the development of an economic model involves five steps five steps the first step is to find or to identify an interesting economic question the first step is identify an interesting economic question that is identify an economic phenomena for example why unemployment rate rise or fall over time why wages in real terms rise or falls over time so or what determines or why or what is the interrelationship between money supply and the price level what is the link between education and economic development these are all interesting economic questions so the first step in developing a theory or a model is to identify an interesting economic question the second step is specify the variables specify the variables 
to be explained by the model as well as variables that explain them so variables are classified into those determined explained by the model these variables are known as endogenous endogenous variables and there are also variables used to explain these endogenous variables such variables are known as exogenous so in a model those variables whose values are determined within the model are endogenous those variables whose values are determined outside the model are exogenous for example if you want to explain unemployment rate the exogenous variables may be consumer optimism or government spending in the simple theory of keynesian income determination investment is exogenous consumption and income are endogenous then the third step is once you identify the variables the third step is posit a set of equations or graphical analysis to connect movement in exogenous variables to endogenous variables that is express the relationship between variables in the form of equations or graphs connecting endogenous variables and exogenous variables because a model is always expressed as a set of equations specifying the interrelationship between variables we will explain we will consider a lot of uh, such models when we proceed a fourth step is that is the third the fourth step is you compare the conclusions of the model with the what actually happens in the real world uh, for example if you develop a model to explain unemployment you compare the predictions of the model with the what you observe in, in the real world that is comparison of the model with the real world for example if you sim, uh, develop a simple uh, market model and uh, if you explain that if demand increases prices will increase that is a prediction from your model and you compare this with what is happening in the real world and the fifth step is if uh, the predictions from the model is compatible with uh, what you observe in the real world that is if the data is well explained we use the model for further predictions and uh, policy analysis we use the model for further uh, predictions and policy analysis so the first step in macroeconomic analysis is the formation of an economic model i will explain economic models in detail later and the construction of a macroeconomic model involves five steps five steps a model is nothing but an economic theory that is the process of macroeconomic analysis in the next class we will explain the purpose of constructing macroeconomic models the purpose why we construct uh, macroeconomic models that is our next concern